The Labour leader needs Brighton to be a success. Sakir, yeah. why aren't you yeah. cutting through more? Thank you. The moment he shows the country he can make an impact. If his problem is a tendency to say too little... Sakir, could we have one question with you? ...and make too few headlines, you can't say the same about his deputy. Angela Rayner, who's given a speech to Labour members in which she described the Tories like this. We cannot get any worse than a bunch of scum, homophobic, racist, misogynistic... Go on, Her words might have gone down well with her audience, but they've created an unwelcome diversion for her leader. Angela uh, said those words. Uh, she takes a different approach. To me, we have different approaches to how we get our messages across. It's not language that I would have used. Keir Starmer did indicate he would be speaking to Angela Rayner. Other big Labour figures were tiptoeing around the row. Should politicians be using language like racist scum? Personally, I would not use uh, that kind of terminology, but obviously everyone's got to express themselves in the way that they think is right. You know, politics uh, inspires strong feelings. People you know, want to sometimes say, say things the way they want to, but personally, I wouldn't. There was some good news for the Labour leader. Sharing a stage later with his deputy, he did manage to get partial changes to the way future leaders are elected voted through. It is always worth changing your party to face the electorate, face the country, to put ourselves in a position where we can win a general election. For her part, Angela Rayner, who's admitted to leadership ambitions herself, was trying to damp down the row. You regret Rachel's your just intruded. I've said all I'm going to say about Boris. Keir Starmer must be hoping she keeps to that. Romilly Weeks, ITV News in Brighton.